I think you need some rest, dear friend. So hello and welcome back to this channel. My name is Ruth and welcome to day two of the 10 days of prayer. And today the topic is the danger of being busy for God. During the pandemic, many people realized that they were just in a state of busyness. And in our society today, we have a false notion that as long as you're busy, you're being productive. Yes, there may be some truth in that because we do see that idleness is the devil's workshop. But being busy is the other extreme. We need a balance to work, but also to implement some time for rest. There was this man, he was an evangelist, and he realized that he loved to speak for God. But then he came to a sense where he realized that he was just being busy and he wasn't allowing the Holy Spirit to work in his ministry. If he was asked to go here and there, he would just go, go, go and go. And he would never spend some time for rest. As he was always preparing for the series, he realized that he wasn't spending time with God as he did. He wasn't having that intimate connection with him in his devotion. Because any time he was connecting with God, it was just to prepare for the next campaign. He was filled in busyness. A story like this, like many others, shows that there is danger in being too busy for God. Yes, we are to evangelize and share the word of God, but we see throughout scriptures that God also says that we should rest a while. In the book of Mark, chapter 6, verse 30 to 32, we see that Jesus tells the disciples to come and rest a while. And in that notion, let us read Mark chapter 6, verse 30 to 32. And it says, The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a desolate place and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no pleasure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a desolate place by themselves. So we see in this verse, the disciples were working for God, teaching and preaching, but Jesus realized that they must rest a while. In the story I said previously, this man was going to and fro sharing God, but he forgot to rest. The danger of being busy for God is that we do not allow the Holy Spirit to work. We think we're just going to go in our power, just go, go, go. But God wants us to rest a while. God wants us to rest a while, to reflect upon him, because as we spend time with God, we'll be stronger and we will be more powerful in order to reach those that God leads on our path. There is danger in being too busy. God throughout the Bible encouraged rest. We see in Exodus that the fourth commandment is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. This was a time of rest, acknowledging God as our creator, as he created the whole world. This was a time to reflect upon what God has done throughout the week, through a week of toil, God brought the Holy Sabbath. So God is a God who encourages us to rest. So as you work for God, pray for the Holy Spirit, take time to rest and reflect, and God will do something wonderful in your life. So as we conclude this reflection about day two, I want to say a closing prayer in reference to Mark chapter 6, verse 30 to 32. And I pray throughout the day that you would be reflective on this verse because we surely need to rest a while, fill ourselves with the Holy Spirit, fill ourselves with God's presence that we may be strong because by spending time with God, we will be greater and stronger. 
by his grace. So let us pray. Dear Lord, I thank you and praise you for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, because in Romans 8, it says that we should ask the Holy Spirit what we should pray for and the Holy Spirit will guide us. I thank you, Lord, for day two of the 10 days of prayer. Be with us, O God, as we spend time with you to rest a while. I pray that you would continually be with us in the busyness of this world. Help us to always remember to take time to be holy, to rest with you and in your presence, that we may go into this world with strength and with courage from above. I pray according to the word of God, as it says, the apostles returned to Jesus and they told him all that they had done. I pray that you would help us to find the desolate place and to rest a while because we know that there is busyness in this world. I pray that you'll please forgive us, Father, for times when we have been so busy doing your work and forgetting that it was your work. I pray that after we have done your work, we would come back to you, we would reflect and we would gain strength from you so that we may go again and remember that it is you by your presence, by your Holy Spirit, giving us the strength. I pray, Lord, that you'll be with us in our time working with you in our church, in our engagements. Help us to always be reflective and know that you are God. Give us the grace that we need in this time and help us, Lord, to rest a while. We thank you, Lord, for rest. We thank you that we can come to your presence if we are heavy laden and burdened and you shall give rest to our souls. We thank you, Lord, and praise your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As we go through this 10 days of prayer, do not forget to pray for people. Have some names that you're praying for daily because we know that there's power in prayer. As we take time to pray, God will take time to answer. Be blessed, shalom, and see you later. Bye. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine.